What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Prince J, and I'm here for another lit bang. You dig what I'm saying? So today, I got my cousin Brittany right here. Today we at Chick Fil A. Um, I'm about to go ahead and do a mukbang. So basically, we're just gonna talk about how life is going. Um, but we got. I'm gonna show. We're gonna show y'all what we got. What we eating? Mm. Need more chicken strips and fries. Got the little, the little spicy deluxe <laughs> for us. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> how's life? <laughs> it's good. I, mean, I can't complain. I'm a senior. I'm about to graduate in a couple months. So let's talk about um your school choices. Where you want to go to school at? Toledo, definitely. But my mom, she keeps trying to like uh, not be so one one minded about things. But really, I'm not. I'm just I just have my mindset on Toledo. And ever since I had like a tour there, I'm like, oh, it's like my home for real. Like I feel real comfortable there. You didn't feel that. You didn't feel like that at Alabama. <laughs> nah, not for real. I mean, Alabama was fun, but it just I don't know. It didn't seem like I would be the type of person to go there. And I went to a couple other schools, of course, but they just didn't feel how Toledo felt. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Just ready to graduate for real. So let's talk about. Um, no, how's your life? No, uh, how's my life? Uh -huh. I mean, can't complain. Ain't nothing going bad. Everything going real smooth. <clears throat> YouTube going good. Um, just really chasing dreams for real. Like I said, can't complain. Right. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. My pleasure. I'm sure he'll be talking the same So is your food good? Have you, have you <laughs> ate the nuggets? I'm eating my fries. Oh, uh, you the type of person to eat your fries first. I eat my food separate. All right. I don't know. Oh, I know. Yeah. So, um, about relationships. Let's talk. Let's talk about that. <laughs> What's funny? Nothing is funny. My so, relationship, it's cool for real. I really like it. Like, I don't know how to really explain it, cause like. He was my best friend first, mm -hmm. and you know how people be like, uh, you you messing with your best friend in a way. Like how people used to just say that. Yeah, I understand. <clears throat> people got a lot of stuff. But really, say like me and his best bestie relationship, it wasn't even like that. Like we were strictly best friends. Like we mm -hmm. barely even hugged. That's how strict our best friends was. Like, but not gonna cap. He liked me for a good six years, and kept trying. Like he just kept shooting his shot. And I mean, I wasn't going because I wanted to like, I liked our friendship. That's really like the male version of me. Like from the weirdness to everything. Yeah, I think it's cool. So you don't think it messed up anything? Like whatever y'all had going on, y'all being in a relationship, you don't think it messed up anything? No, nah, like I'm, it's like I'm already comfortable with him. I don't got to take the time out to like try to get to know his favorite color, mm -hmm. favorite shoes and all of that. It's like I already knew everything, and plus, like, <clears throat> it's better because we built the bond first. So you feel like you can be yourself with him? Yeah. Like, I mean, I could be myself with other people, but like, it's nothing that I would, I don't know, it's nothing that I wouldn't do with him. Mm. So, if you wasn't in a relationship, what type of dude would you look for? Like, what do you look for in a dude? Okay, before I got in this relationship, I don't even think I was looking for it. But if I had to be looking, I wanted to talk to a white boy. <laughs> you say you wanted to talk to a white boy, yes, or you would? I wanted to talk to a white boy. Why? I don't know. Like, I just feel like I don't know. <laughs> You sound confused. I'm not confused. It's just like I'm open minded. Like my type is brown skin, dark skin, but like if a little cute little white boy wanted to talk to me, I wouldn't mind. 
But is there cute white dudes around us though, like in this area? Yeah. You think so? I be seeing a lot of them when I'm at work. Yeah. Mm. So, when I said, <clears throat> as far as dudes, like what you look into. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about like, um, is there a certain way that you want to do to treat you, like, or personality-wise, like, or say as if how me and you grew up together and how close we are. Do you look on like how how I treat you to be something in like your dude because of you not being that close to a dad or whatever? Hmm. So like. Well, my dad not really being in my life, mm -hmm. I don't know how a dude is supposed to treat me, but I got like ideas right. of how it's supposed to go. Like I got the standard ideas. <clears throat> but like, what are those standard ideas? Like, I still expect dudes to open the door for me, like mm -hmm. even the car door. Like, yeah. you're not getting off with not opening that car door because I will stand there until you open it. Right. And like. When I just used to talk to people, because you know, you just talk to people to get to know them or whatever. Like, when I used to talk to people and I, I link with them, and they wouldn't even do like the simple things, like even hold like doors at restaurants. I'm like, oh, so I gotta open this myself. But like, even dudes around me, like, say I'm just walking into school and I see a random dude right there, I'm not touching that door because you're right there. I don't need to open the door. Or like, um, they have to be respectful. Like, calling me like like that's my b word and all of that yeah. like you can't call me that because that's still a sign of disrespect because if you can say that's my you can easily call me that right. <clears throat> so like yeah and what else and i never really had a problem with being treated wrong it's just like how can i really explain it's like what they say it be wrong and they be thinking it's right so it's like so this is how you treat your mom if you could treat me like this and that's another thing like my previous relationship he was but he did not respect his mom at all and that should have been my first red flag with it but i'm like maybe that's just their relationship like that's just how they talk to each other but no like either way it go you should have some type of respect for your mom because if you can't respect your mom you can't respect nobody yeah. And like with Cartier, like my mom loved Cartier. Like loves Cartier. That's all she talked about. And he he don't he hasn't shown me like any signs. Like yeah, in his previous relationships I knew everything. But he hasn't done any of that to me. Like yeah, he in college and all of that. And people be like, How do you trust him? How do you do this down the third? It's like all about y'all's bond for real like if y'all got a good bond i can confidently i can confidently say like he he's not cheating on me and that's for a fact because what he does is he go to class go to practice three to seven and then three to seven three to seven and then go to study um study tables for an hour because they got to have eight hours a week then game days is on weekends and sleep is on sundays it's like i know his schedule like the back of my hand and like I said, we already have built that bond, so I don't got nothing to really worry about. So, how do you feel about long distance relationships, period? Like, if you, even if you wasn't in a relationship with Cartier, like, how do you just, like, what do you think about the topic, period, though? Like, I feel like it's hard, but it's not impossible. Yeah. Like, our generation is set on, like, I want to be with you 24-7. I got to be with you every second, every minute, and all of that. But, no. Yeah, that's cool and all, but if that person can't be there, then respect the fact that they can't be there because it's not like they're not just making time for you because you always can make time for what you want. But like, like me and Gardier, for instance, like this is a long, it was hard, it was very, very hard at first because I wasn't knowing what to expect. And like, and then everybody just kept trying to put stuff in my mind. I'm like, nah, but like, it's a, it's about reassurance too. Like, reassurance without even asking is always key as well. But like, mm -hmm. it's possible, but it's it's hard. Yeah. What you think? I mean, to me, I don't think, I mean, of course it's hard because you're not with them, like, how you want to be. Yeah. So it's like, you, depending on, depending on how the relationship is, 
you tend to like wonder like what they're doing if they don't text back or like wondering where they are and stuff like that because especially if you have their location on yeah. it's not like you can actually see where they are because it's like they're on campus location, yeah. yeah they on campus and they're not near you especially if they're far you don't know where that place is or what the streets are or you know what i'm saying but, so, um, but after a while the streets starting to they start to look like you can recognize them like oh they yeah. always go there and plus, if you really that concerned, you can just call them if they won't answer. If they give you a like a little text, like I'm busy right now, I can't answer. At least I know what you're doing, like you're busy. And at least you're texting me back. Now, if you just don't answer and you're not texting me, then I'm gonna start thinking because yeah, who wouldn't? It's a, it's a difference between yeah. like in communication stages. If you're about to go to a party or say you're about to go uh, do something that makes you not be able to text back then you have to be able to communicate, communicate and say that. that you're about to do a certain yeah, that's thing the, uh, that's before you the other thing that. like communication is another key in long distance relationships like Cartier he didn't used to be the best at communication until I just kept pushing it on him like like just communicate I'm cool I'm very understanding like just let me know what you're doing right um another thing is you gotta have trust though like without trust it ain't going I don't think it's really gonna work because it like the insecurities is gonna come in there questions gonna be asked people gonna be getting mad and, and arguing and stuff like that and it's gonna get real irritating yeah and I feel like I'm the person I am I'm like not insecure but I'm sometimes in, insecure about certain things but like I don't know once that person just start making you feel like you're the only person in the world that matter to them then you don't really got no reason to be insecure yeah. Do you think college changes a person or make them a better person in finding themselves? Honestly, I think it depends on um, how they were raised and how things were at home and how strict their parents was and stuff like that. Because a lot of people, when they get to when they get to college, it's like freedom for them. Yeah, it's like freedom. Like they. Ain't, it's so much stuff that they can do that they haven't done or that they ain't been in, been on their own as much but then again it can get hard though because it's like you on your own that can really get hard though but then it's a but then it's also a blessing because your parents not around and you can do whatever you want without hearing them like they feedback but a lot of people was raised different you will see that when you get to college though like say for say for example you put your clothes in a washer and then put your clothes in a dryer somebody will really take your stuff out though and, and leave it on top of the dryer just so they stuff can get dry so they can get to, like so they can do what they gotta do but as far as other stuff though i mean of course people gonna smoke and drink that's that's just what college is for real and they, people gonna do it more <clears throat> especially because they don't gotta worry about curfew or their parents and what they have to say nagging yeah so i don't think it necessarily changes people but some people do take college for an advantage though most definitely so you just think it helps them find themselves more than what they already did mm -hmm. do you also think like it depends on the high school that they went to like in a way no nah, i don't think that really matters for real I kind of do because if you came from a smaller high school, then and then you go to college, it's just like <clears throat> it's so many, it's so many people that you ain't even know that was out here. So like you got a closed in mind for real because you didn't seen the same people over and over again for the past four years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, I know a couple of people that actually went to a bigger high school but then go to like a smaller college based off of the scholarship that they have for sports mm -hmm. and they really don't like it like the environment is trash yeah like that's they what don't i'm saying like parties or so there's used no parties or they might not in have an open space yeah. and then you get closed in because mm -hmm. some some schools or like that, you used to be in a closed space and then you open up more and then college help you open up more too because say you like stuck up all in high school and then college people friendly for real no cap like i didn't even go there and everybody was just speaking to me I'm like hey that's how it is 
Yeah, a lot of a lot of schools don't have like a lot of smaller schools don't really have football teams either. So they might not even have a homecoming, which also makes somebody's college experience trash for real because they will have to travel to go to a whole nother homecoming if they want to though. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so that's it for this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Follow her link in the description. Her Instagram and Twitter will be in the link in the description. We out of here. I came out of the trench and my nigga was with me. You know that I hop in that bed and don't get it. My nigga dressing and those get bundled. I got some bricks when they got me some money. I don't know, blah, you know I'm running.